Hi guys, it's Peggy from the Paper Bumblebee. I've got this packaging from Amazon I want to do something with. And I was thinking of transforming it into a file folder or something. But we'll see how while we go what happens. So if you want to see what I'm doing, keep on watching. And let's go. So I want to keep these little flaps. I'm going to do something with these, make some pockets or something, or maybe something on the inside and then make a closure on here, but we have to cover this, and I saw Barbara from 49 Dragonflies use book pages, and I think I'm going to do that as well. So let's go. Okay, so I got my brush, I got my decoupage, and book pages, I need mean book pages. Okay, check. Okay, so let's just start. Uh, look. Thought it was time for me to do some big projects here on YouTube. Well, everything I've done on YouTube uh, are small projects so I thought it's time Peggy it's time okay just paste pages on sideways doesn't matter gonna cover that anyway this is for texture and coverage. Okay, I'm gonna leave those. I don't know if you can see that, it's so big. I'm gonna fold them over just like Barbara did. And that may be like this. This is a bit of a challenge for me for, I don't know if everything's on camera, I don't have a lot of space, so I hope you see everything, okay, just put something over here, oh, and this should overlap more, not too late, okay. down so you can see what I'm doing Doesn't it stick? Okay, I'm gonna move to the other 
other side. I think I'm going to do this and I'll be back when I'm finished. Okay guys, so I glued the front to that, all book pages, and now I still have to do this side. I changed the camera so that you can see the whole thing a bit, I hope, I think. So now I have to do this side. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be back. Okay guys, I've done that. I've dried it. And I hope it's not dry completely, but I think it will be it will do. So this will be it. I think this yeah, like this. And I still have to figure out uh, closure but first thing what I want to do is try to age this up for this is really way too new and white and shiny and okay so this is I used Mud Podge no I used decoupage and it's empty but this is uh, gloss finish and I didn't see that until now so what I'm gonna do for this won't uh, if I spray on inks or anything won't keep so now I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is use um, I think I will use some gel medium matte and go over uh, it again but what I want to do when it's wet I'm going to take some uh, the back of a napkin and I'm going to stick it over over this like so so I'm going to show you and then I think I will finish it up I don't know I don't think you want to see me do the whole thing okay so I'm going to take some of this gel and put it on the only thing is I can't see where I put some on and where I didn't so that's I think I will just put the nap I think I'm gonna put on piece by piece and I have to see where it sticks and I don't want it to be flat flat I just want it to be so I can get some more structure and uh, wrinkles and stuff so and then also the feel of it will be really nice like a fabric -y feel with a napkin So I want it to hang over for then I can go to the back with it and get some old feel on with this. Okay, so I've got one napkin on. So this I forgot to glue. That's. I can tear it here and then put some glue and then stick it on or just leave it like so that can give you some nice structure as well or, or you can just put another piece of napkin on it just a piece and put it on I also used some napkin that has a little small, um, I'll show you just in a minute, detail on the from uh, the napkin that was on top. I don't know if you ever have seen that. If you take off the top part and the bottom two parts, they have like a, 
Can you see that? Like a, it leaves a print. So, and that's going to be really nice on here as well. So this, this hasn't, but this one does. So I'm going to move on to the next part. And it doesn't have to one be one piece. You can just put on small pieces and make it like a puzzle and can overlap one another as well. That's all fine. And just wrinkle it a bit for the effects. It's really nice. And also it feels really nice. Fabric-y. To try not to skip any it has to be glued everywhere otherwise you're gonna get a like a big bubble and you don't want that that's what I had over there and then I try to fix it but okay it's it's fixed <laughs> it's fixed my way okay I don't know if you can see all the way this side So I'm gonna finish this and then I'll be back. Is then the front, and I haven't put a coat on top. That I first want to age it up, and then I can put another coat of the matte gel uh, medium over this. But I have to dry this now, and have to decide if I want to do the inside as well. I think I'm gonna do the inside. Uh, but then until it folds or maybe till to here but I will I will see I'll be back when it's dry okay this is how it looks now I'm quite happy uh, now we have to decide what to do next um, I was thinking maybe some gesso and some inks and try to age it up. What do you think? Okay, let's try some gesso first. And just apply, uh, well, try with a finger first. Um, not everywhere, just some places. And then you can find some napkins that are not stuck down good enough and just glue that. Um, some gesso on my little board here. Just take some gesso easier. Just here and there, and I think when I have um, added the inks and stuff, then we can see where we can put some more gesso. For now, it's just random. I just love getting textures and layers. It's so nice. Okay, I'm going to dry that quickly and then add on this side some more. Have a look if I've got some left on here. First. Okay. 
just want to add some some tape and some I don't know some I don't know what that's called I'll show you in a second I'll just dry this quickly okay now we've got some brown tape I want to use and some of this I don't know what it's called and just put on some random place and some of this just give it some nice texture and feel and just love this Okay, I think that will be okay. And then some of the brown tape. This is really nice. You can also write on this just to put some on there as well. Also want to try some stenciling maybe. Use it with some, I think, vintage photo ink. Okay, just gonna have a search for a nice stencil. Okay, so I've pulled three. I can use this one with the little blotches, um, but I don't know. I don't know yet. I'm just going to put that one aside. I love this one. can put some clocks on some places. That would be quite nice. Or just... I was actually thinking of this. But that's not... I don't know. I think I'm going to go for the clocks. And then I also want to take my like a vintage stamp and stamp some words on there so let's first do the little clocks just gonna take my little soft brush and see how that goes no rhyme or reason just going somewhere some places just try do that again. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's just to grunge it up a bit. Okay. 
And this is a bit like um, the middle. Just a bit there. And in the middle. So. Like so. Actually, don't know if you can if I'm in frame. Sorry about that. Let's take the gesso away, make some space. Actually, maybe this should be some bigger. On the inside, I will do as well, but um. okay, I'm quite happy with that. I will also be uh, doing the edges with uh, with the vintage photo just in a bit. First, I want to take some. I think some ink, but I want to. I think I'm gonna use Tazon. Just gonna fix that quickly. Yes, and then just randomly stamp with this. I'll show you in a bit. I don't. I don't know if you can see it, especially here. I think you can see, but on the other parts maybe not. Just upside, not upside down, but sideways. Doesn't matter actually. Okay, I'll just show you. Let's see. Over here, you can see. Over here, it's quite subtle. I, I really like it. Then, what I want to do as well is just um, spritz a bit. I've got some wild honey and I've got a dabber with de tie, tea dye. Sorry, so I'm gonna spritz a bit of the wild honey. It's a beautiful color. Like so, and then with a dabber, just make some blotches. This I saw from Barbara's channel, it's quite nice effect. Like so, okay. I just want to do some half, okay. Now, 
because I've got the, the napkin on here, it spreads further. So that's actually quite a nice effect as well. Okay. Mm, maybe one more over here. Now it's off balance for my eye. Let's see, maybe over there. Then I want to take, while this is drying my vintage photo, and just do the edges. And most of the time that gives a whole lot of, an, a whole other look. It's really amazing. You just start journaling. I think that's one of my number. I have to choose five for things for junk journaling. I think that will be one of my five. It really just transforms the whole project you're working on, actually. It really makes it age feel aged okay and then when I'm finished just having a look now and it's still really white so I'm gonna take my tea dye and first try the tea dye and if that doesn't work I'm gonna use my vintage photo and just distress it a bit more almost finished I think yeah. I also want to do, but it's still wet some places. Just where the folds are, go with my distress ink as well. Um, I'm gonna take my tea dye now. I'm just thinking for when I'm going um, over this with the matte gel, uh, gel medium, it's gonna. I wonder what it's going to do, but uh, we'll see when I want. I'm just going to do it like this now. Um, this is still not really dry, but okay. Oh yes, that's the look I want. really nice you can also see where I put this other tape then it brings it forward you can you can see it now Also in between the stencil for that's also really white. Where I stenciled it. Okay, over here as well. 
I think it's quite dry now, so I will see where the folds are. And this quickly, I don't know if you can see this distress where the folds are as well. Just stick that down with glue, but of course, this little piece doesn't want to stay. Got the difference in uh, of the inside and what I've done now. Okay, let's have a look what I've done. Like so. So I'm happy. Just gonna glue that piece there. Okay. Um, maybe what what would be nice as well maybe all gold splatter or maybe some black i think okay let's see Makes it a bit grey. Mm. Okay, I'll have to do this. Bigger drops. Okay. And then maybe some gold, or is that too much? Actually, missing some black here. There's all spots. Okay, so I'm going to dry this quickly. Okay, that's it for now. It's quite dry. Got this. And then I was thinking maybe also some gold splatters, but I don't know what you... Th what do you think? Please comment down below and we'll do another... The next part, we can all, always add the the gold splatter if you think I should add. So I'm gonna do off camera the inside and then uh, also when I when I get back for part two I'll show you then uh, the, in, the inside and the outside and we will start um, doing making the inside. Uh, I want no, this is still wet. I want to make some pockets and I think a signature in here. So that's what we're going to do next time. This is what it looks like now. Oh, and we have to do the... Uh, and we have to do the closure. Have, have a look how we do the closure. So please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. And till next time. Bye-bye.